moving mini. This class is going to be all about our joints, moving them and just getting them feeling really good so we can continue doing our crafts. We can move with as much ease and freedom in our bodies as possible and our joints are just so important for, for um, quality of life and to today's 10 minute movement mini. This class is going to be all about our joints and getting them moving and feeling uh, really spacious and just helping us to Exhale, hug opposite arm on top. Again, hands can be on the 
the shoulders or back of the hands could be touching, and just little circles. Left or right foot is just curling the toes under, putting a little bit of pressure down. 
You can do that a couple of times. And then you can take the foot behind you and just start to stretch out the, the top of the ankle a little bit. And then you're pulsing your way a little bit forward and back, rotating a little bit, whatever feels good for you. Good. And then once that feels about complete, you're going to come high up onto your tippy toes and then lower them. High and then low. High and then low. So just a couple times like that, stretching out the soles of your feet, keep it going. Almost done. Good. Awesome. Three more. Two more. One more. We're going to roll on the edges of our feet. So roll over to the left and then to the heels and then to the right and then to the toes. So a circular motion. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands, but I feel like it helps me. <laughs> so we're rolling around, just again, finding a little bit of, ooh, if you lose your balance, come back into it. <laughs> just trying to get the ankle to roll in every direction, and then switching and going the other way. Might be a little bit awkward, especially if you haven't done this before, so just do your best. Good. And we're going to come to stillness, give your legs a quick little spread. We're going to finish off with a one minute shake break. So as you're ready, start to get your arms nice and soft and relaxed. And just start to maybe imagine you've got glue in your fingertips so you're trying to get it off. And then you can start to let that movement kind of reverberate through the rest of your body. Your shoulders are wiggling, your hips are wiggling. You want your skin to be wiggling and jiggling, your fascia to get a little reverberation, a wiggle, a shake. So shake as best you can, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Just get your body moving and start to dance a little bit, throw on some music. And close your eyes and really just take some deep breaths. Going as fast as what feels good for you. Bending the knees as much as what feels good for you. If your hair gets all crazy, that's great. You might laugh, you might cry. <laughs> Sometimes when we release energy, we don't really know what to expect until it happens. So whatever you experience is exactly what it's supposed to be. So just start to go a little bit faster. we got 10 more seconds. Nine. Go, go, go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Close your eyes and just come to stillness. Feel the breath starting to intelligently come back to its natural pace. Feel your heart rate. How the pulsation of blood moves through the body really feels in this moment. The warmth that you've created, the energy that you've shifted. Take a moment to say thank you to yourself for you know, dedicating 10 minutes to yourself. And when you come back to this practice, there are any